Hello everyone, today we will discuss about heart sounds. There are four heart sounds, but with the help of stethoscope, we can auscultate only two heart sounds. Four heart sounds are first, second, third and fourth. Okay. Now, starting with first heart sound. What is the cause of first heart sound? First heart sound that is due to vibrations, they set due to closure of atrioventricular valve. You can see here, this is atrioventricular between atria and ventricle, mitral and tricuspid. Mitral valve that is between left atrium and left ventricle and tricuspid between right atrium and right ventricle. Okay. Now, what is the characteristic of first heart sound? <coughs> This is long, low pitched, low pitched, long duration and the duration is about 0.15 second. Frequency that is about 25 to 45 hertz and it is auscultated like lub, a longer one, lub sound you can see here. Okay. Now auscultation site, it is auscultated over the fifth intercostal space just inside the mid clavicular line here this is neutral area where first heart sound is auscultated uh, nicely then at tricuspid area also it can be auscultated so these two are the auscultation sites for the first heart sound with the help of phonocardiogram we can record single group of 9 to 13 waves okay and the amplitude is similar uh, Sorry, the amplitude is small to start, but later on rapidly this amplitude rises and then it falls. Now, this first heart sound, it coincides with R wave in the ECG. Okay. Next is second heart sound. <coughs> second heart sound, that is because of closure of semilunar valves. <coughs> Sorry semi-lunar valves they are a pulmonary and aortic valves you can see here this two hmm? <clears throat> this is aortic this is pulmonary valve so when they close and vibrations they are set up that produces second heart sound what are the characteristic of second heart sound that is short duration but high pitch high pitch and short duration Duration is about 0.11 to 0.12 seconds. Frequency is about 50 hertz and it produces sound like dub. Okay. Auscultation site that is at aortic and pulmonary area. You can see this is aortic and this is pulmonary area. Aortic area is located in the right second intercostal space near the sternum. This is the sternum on the right side, this one. And on the left side to the sternum in the second intercostal space, we have pulmonary area. And phonocardiogram, it records single group of four to six waves here okay, with the same amplitude and it is correlated with T wave in the, sorry in here, T wave in the ECG. Second heart sound indicates onset of the diastole and proper closure of the semilunar valve. Okay, next one that is third heart sound cannot be easily heard with the help of stethoscope. What is the cause of third heart sound? That is because of sudden rush of blood during a rapid feeling phase of the ventricle. Rapid feeling phase of ventricle. It is low pitch and less intensity or low intensity. Duration is 0.1 second. And it cannot be heard as I told you by the stretho. Uh, stethoscope auscultation you cannot auscultate third heart sound phonocardiogram you can have one to four waves group of one to four waves you can find find as a third heart sound and it correlates uh, uh, correlation with the ecg it correlates the duration between t wave and the p wave of the ecg okay, between this t wave and p wave you can find third heart sound then fourth heart sound that is due to last rapid feeling phase last rapid feeling phase of ventricle okay here what happens when ventricles are filled there is systole of atria so atria causes 
uh, rapid feeling of the ventricle because of the contraction of atria and it coincides with as i told you last rapid feeling phase or atrial systole characteristic it is short duration low frequency and low amplitude frequency and amplitude both are low duration that is only 0.03 seconds and frequency is about 3 hertz phonocardiogram requires to hear this we cannot hear with the help of stethoscope so phonocardiogram we can found uh, one to two waves only with low amplitude okay and it is correlated with the period of end of p wave p wave and and onset of q wave okay between p wave and q wave this is the correlation of fourth heart sound with the ecg okay so this is all about your heart sounds thank you